The Environmental Action Monitoring Group Unit of African Center for Justice and Human Rights, ADJA, Save the Environment Action Group and the Niger Delta Environment Monitoring Group, NEMJ, have expressed sadness over the oil leak experience around Santa Barbara Southwest Field in Nembe local government area of Bayaso State. The groups also noted, with delight, the various intervention measures quickly put in place by ITA to contain the situation, just as they condemn the deliberate attempt by some groups and individuals to politicize the unfortunate development. While sympathizing with the affected communities currently bearing the brunt of the incident, they stated categorically that the leak was caused by saboteurs. They said in quote, We are also aware that independent environmental interim reports on the leak clearly absolve I talk of any form of negligence over the matter. From the fact available to us, we note that with the timely interventions by the federal government and ITO, the damage had been contained. We are aware that efforts have been undertaken to cap the well at its Santa Barbara Southwest field in Nembe local government area of Bielsa State. End of quote. Accordingly, experts on the field have reported that containment exercise continues with booms and environmental bodies mopping up spewed crude, while all relevant personnel and experts, local and international, are now on location, as well as marine spread carrying pumps, chemicals, cranes, and firefighting equipment have been mobilized 100% and have started sale to location. Also, it is reported that there is currently no fire at or within the vicinity of the well, while the environmental impact assessment in the vicinity of the area is in planning phase with the Department of Petroleum Resources and NOSDRA accredited firm. A team comprising member of ITOR Well Operations and Boots and Coots is at well site for the site operation for well control operation. It was also revealed that relief materials including mosquito nets, hygiene and sanitary kits, disinfectants and food materials are also being mobilized to the immediate communities impacted by the spill. While I told officials are closely monitoring all activities related to the affected communities, these feeding, lighting, hygiene, drinking water and medical requirements with the help of local associations. ITO safety and security and HSC teams are said to be monitoring the quality of air every six hours to ascertain the livability of the areas adjoining Grand Zero while still mobilizing additional relief materials for the affected communities. The groups are confident that normalcy will soon be restored to the affected communities, urging all critical stakeholders to cooperate with ITO and the federal government in this task so that the unfortunate development can be a thing of the past.